Buttercup, you're grounded. Oh, Buttercup, why did you spend $40,000 on my credit card to buy a motorcycle? My dad acts like he doesn't have the money for it, but I know that he's secretly a millionaire because I know that he secretly does important things for the government. That's right. But he wants to pretend like me spending that $40,000 when it was a big deal when it really wasn't. And now I can't even use the computer. Ugh, what are you doing on the computer over there, Blossom? You're just rubbing it in my face that I can't use it. I'm watching Pretzel on YouTube. Please be quiet and leave me alone. It's not my fault that you're grounded. Okay, thank you, thank you. <sighs> well then, it is official. I didn't want to have to do this, but my daughter is going to have to work at the clothing store. I cannot believe Buttercup. She used my credit card and she bought a $40,000 motorcycle. I ended up grounding her, but that wasn't enough. Oh, whatever. Where's dad anyway? Oh yeah, he told me that I have to get a job. So he's going to ask all of the stupid stores in this town if I can work there. And apparently I'm not allowed to use my powers when I go to work. That is so annoying. I should just run away from this place. <gasps> there needs to be another punishment for what she's done. So I decided to make her get a job in the city. But the only place that seems to be hiring is the clothing store. I just spoke with the owner of this bakery here and she doesn't want to hire her either. Ah, <sighs> fine. Let me give the girls a call and tell them to meet me at the store. Oh great, now dad's calling me. Let me pick up the phone and see what he wants. Alright, they should be there within a few minutes. She's gonna have to work so many hours at that clothing store until she can finally pay me back for that bike. Huh, I know we're rich and everything, but still, that's no excuse to spend money like it's nothing. I thought I raised her better than that. Blossom, come on. Dad wants us to meet him out there in the town. He said that he's found the job for me. Ugh, this better be a fun job. And it better pay a lot of money too so that I can hurry up and make that $40,000. Because being grounded is not the wave. Hey, little girls. You might be wondering why we are here at this place. And it's because I've decided to make Buttercup get a job so that she can pay me back for that motorcycle. <gasps> oh my gosh, what? Uh, that's what you get, Buttercup. <laughs> I told you you shouldn't have snuck Whoa. out that night and bought that motorcycle. Uh, Wait, Dad, well, why are the rest of us here? Yeah, Yeah, Professor, why am I here? Yeah. Me and Bubbles didn't do anything wrong. Exactly. We were just so. chilling at the house when Buttercup did what she did. Mm -hmm. Yep. No! That is so unfair. Please, Professor. No, I can't be seen working at a clothing store. Do you know this? We're used to punching bad guys in the face. I can't work here. That's embarrassing. And it would take me forever to make the money back. Yes, I know that. But maybe you should have thought of this before you did what you did. This is not up for discussion. You will go into this clothing store, you will be working here, and once you pay me back $40,000, you can then quit. And this is no excuse to slack off on your homework or anything else. Fine, whatever. Go work at this stupid clothing store with this ugly clothes that smell like garbage. This is dumb! I hate this job! Ah! Stop throwing a tantrum. Jesus. Okay, and uh, Bubbles? And Blossom. Yes, Professor? You guys, here's some money. You can go shopping or something. And do not let your sister quit this job. Because if she gets into any more trouble, you guys will be blamed for it, too. Wait, what? Professor, that's like, that's really unfair. We had nothing to do with what she's done. Yeah, I know I'm the leader and everything, but you know that Buttercup doesn't really listen to me. Yeah, she never listens to her. Dad, that's not fair. Still, that's just how it is. Look, I've got to go get back to work. I have some experiments to do in the lab. I just received a really great job offer, and I decided to take it. You think Buttercup is going to stay at the job? <laughs> 
Of course not. We know our sister. She's going to get into some trouble. We need to get out of here before she does. Hmm. All right. We got some money, though. Want to go shopping at another place? Yeah, that sounds good. Come on. Hmm. So, all I really have to do is earn $40,000. Hmm. How about I go use my powers for something instead and earn that money within a day? I can't be working here for, what, it'll probably take like four years. I'm already a teenager. By the time I earn $40,000 at this job, I'll probably be an adult by then. Nah, I'm gonna go and pull a quick job and make a quick $40,000. Let me look online to see if anyone's hiring for something that requires powers. Hmm. What's this? Is that a listing I see there? Oh. Hmm, the job listing. Wait, they want me to meet them where? They said they'll be over here somewhere in town, but I don't see them. Oh, oh my lord, the alley? We need you to help us get somewhere high security. It's only a job, are you up for it? Well, can I use my powers and is this legal? Of course. Well, I need $40,000, can you pay that? Why wouldn't it be legal? Of course we can. <laughs> well, it just seems fishy, that's all. Totally not. No, no, not at all. Is he telling the truth? Of course I'm telling the truth. Why wouldn't I be? Okay, fine. I'll take the job. Give me the files. Thank you. Okay. I'll be back in an hour. I wonder why they needed this stuff. These chemicals seem dangerous, but I've got it, so, hmm. Should I give this to them? The lab I had to sneak into was super official and top secret. But hey, I need that $40,000 cash money, so I'm gonna give it to them, hey. Hello, thank you for your help, ma'am. Look, what are you gonna use these chemicals for and why are they worth $40,000? Can we just have the stuff? Just hand them to me, no more questions. Fine, here. <laughs> I got away with it, yeah, yeah. So when my dad gets back, I'm gonna hand him that money and I'm gonna tell him that <laughs> I can quit this job now because he's got his $40,000 that I spent on the motorcycle. Uh, at least try to let's look like I work today. Wait, how am I gonna explain where I got the money from? Uh, oh, I'll just tell him that my boss here gave me a bonus. Yeah, <laughs> that should work. Okay. Oh, he should be here any moment now. Yep, according to my watch, he'll be arriving in about 30 seconds. Uh, I see you're able to get the goods I asked for. How did you get this? Yes, thank you so much for that. Yes, yes. We, of course, hired someone. That's a secret mm, how we okay, got then. them. A hitman, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> run! Hurry! We must what run help? before Don't we are seen. <laughs> so ready to quit this job. Buttercup. <gasps> oh! Hey, Dad. Um, so, are you ready to go home? No, I am not ready to go home. I am simply here to see how you are doing at work. Oh, well, Daddy-o, I get to quit now because I've got the $40,000 that I stole off your credit card. Wait. Where did you get that kind of money from? Uh, the owner here was uh, so impressed with my skills, you know, and how well I packed up the clothes that she was like, here you go, sweetie, here's $40,000. I don't believe that for a second. Where is she? Let me talk to her. Oh, Dad, she's very famous and rich and she owns a bunch of other stores. And uh, she had to go manage those stores. But I mean, come on now. Does it really matter? Didn't you want your money back? Now you've got it. Ugh. I should not have had to come to the office this late. But apparently there was a break-in in one of our facilities in the town. Oh, and apparently there is security footage that I must review so that I can call the authorities so that they can get to the bottom of this and find and punish the thief. Let's go to my office. When I find out who it is, they will pay. Because I wanted to spend my day with my son. But instead, I'm here. Being a manager of this town is so, so difficult. 
Jasmine. Yeah, but this just seems too good to be true. Well, Dad, she was probably a fan of our work, you know. We are the Powerpuff Girls. And, you know, we've been saving a lot of cities over the years, so she probably just wanted to help me out for that. Look, let me see the money. Hmm, this money appears to be real as well. Uh, okay. Let's go home. We'll talk about this another time. Wow, that's really unexpected. <laughs> ah, I got away with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I feel kind of bad for breaking into that place using my powers and stuff. And what if there were cameras? What if I got caught? Well, I didn't get caught, but what if they review the camera footage and recognize me? Look, I don't know. I'm not a smart criminal because I'm supposed to be a, a, a good person. Let's get out of here and hope that nothing falls apart in my face. I need just... I will use my assistant's computer. I do not feel like going upstairs to log into mine. Let's see what we have here. Oh. Wait a minute. I recognize that person that's breaking in. Are they using laser vision? No. No! It can't be! <gasps> I thought he raised them better than this. That is a Powerpuff Girl. And she broke in. <gasps> I need to call the professor immediately. This is unacceptable. I can't believe this. Pretzel, it's so. Pretzel, it's so. Pretzel, it's so. Pretzel, it's so.